Okay, today we have this Sharp Aquos LC32 D44E with a very common problem. Power LED on. Blinks once, then goes red. Uh, no picture ever appears. So, you need to enter. Uh, this is a very common problem with this set. It's using a lamp power. So, we'll enter the service mode to diagnose that. Uh, so, to do that, you hold the volume down, source buttons. Then press the power button and hold these two buttons until the set powers up. Do not release them. It's very fiddly to get it into the service mode. Okay, now we've successfully entered the service mode. We then press the volume down and channel down buttons and we enter the diagnostics mode, and as we can clearly see, lamp error, lamp error, lamp error, lamp error, lamp error. So we'll talk about diagnosing that. Now, this is not going to um, this is not going to last. This will power off shortly in a few, in about twenty or thirty seconds. First step, obviously, is to take the TV apart. So, I've got an electric power screwed over here. This is actually found in a skip uh, with dead rats. So, you can now tell it's working. So, just remove all the screws around the edge and don't forget screws there for the scarf. And we'll, we'll talk about the stand screws as well. Okay, now the set's been disassembled. By the way, you don't actually need to take the stand off. I was wrong on that. You can actually service it with the stand still on, which is nice. Uh, here's the power supply and inverted combination board. And here's the main board, which has the integrated T-Con on it. Uh, the LCD panel itself is a Sharp. So, Sharp make their own LCD panels for these TVs, which is nice. They don't make these TVs anymore. And in fact, they now rebadge Vestel... Um, uh, what do we call it? Garbage? Junk? Rubbish? Uh, and sell it as their own. But anyway, what we've got here is we've got 10 tubes in the TV, hence 10 connectors driven by 5 transformers. And we need to flip this board upside down and find a capacitor called C7558. We will um, fit a shorting link across this and we will then be able to determine where the defective bulb in the set is and whether or not we can just leave it uh, with the defective bulb um, disconnected. We could disconnect it by uh, cutting the trace going to one of these high voltage uh, outputs. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about doing that. Just uh, remove the board using the screws, make sure it's unplugged. Uh, this capacitor here can be lethal So uh, for working on it. I'm going to do a little shorting across it, but no, it's dead, so that's good. So, uh, let's let's do that then. It took me a while to figure it out, but basically, go here, squeeze the, to get the board out. Squeeze it, then lift the uh, lift the board while you're doing so. Remove the board from the inverse connection, so there, and we'll look at the back of this board. Found it. I uh, haven't done this board before, but it's that little capacitor there. So this is the controller I see. So that capacitor will place a little solder link across that, which will disable the error timeout. So then we can get test patterns to show on the display, and we can figure out where the faulty bulb is. Okay, jumper across that capacitor is applied. Uh, I just use my soldering iron to do that. I just put a little bit of blob of solder over it. I can remove that later. C7558, by the way, on the bottom of the board near this black IC. Okay, after you've done that, the TV will still appear to be malfunctioning. So, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into the service menu, service default mode, and reset it. So, done exactly the same as before. Volume down, uh, input power. Hold these. Now it may be a little hard to hold them because the case is unscrewed. But you have to keep holding them until it powers up in the service default mode. It's very fiddly to get into this mode. 
Now, since I've already applied the fix, the TV will work. It will show snow or something on the screen. Um, release there. And you know you're on service default mode when you see this K on the side of the screen lit up. So then you've got to do volume down and channel down, and you can access the service mode. Uh, to move between the pages, use the uh, up arrow, I think, yeah. And then you've got to go down to oh, uh, use the up arrow, and then use the channel minus channel plus button. You must use the remote to do this, unfortunately. Then go here, lamp error reset, press OK. Uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, and then go to lamp error stop. Uh, no, actually, you don't have to do that one. Uh, and that's it. The TV is now uh, sorted. As I can clearly see, uh, if I go uh, here, we oh, missed the menu. We see it has 19,000 uh, hours on it, uh, almost 20,000 hours on the lamp counter. And I don't see any dim patches, but I'm going to go and try and find the test patterns there. And let's see. Okay, I'm seeing absolutely no dim patches on that screen. Just press the left or right arrows to alternate through. There's no uh, problem with the screen at all. Uh, there's no dim patches, so that all the bulbs are functioning. And all that's happened to this TV is that it's just had a few problems powering up before. Perhaps it was too cold, or perhaps um, it's had a uh, loose connector. When I reseat the board, it's fixed it. Um, but if you do have an error, what you'll have to do is you can either leave that jumper in place and deal with the fact that that bulb may die eventually and you'll get a dim bar across the screen or you have to take the LCD panel itself out as you can see there which is a very difficult job and you can have to replace the bulb in the screen but that will sort the TV out so this is what the test pattern should look like so you've got a white, a blue, uh, a grey and then that one you've got to go oddly left, right and then back again uh, in order to access them uh, don't touch any of the other adjustments in here. Uh, all you want to do is just press the power off button to exit. I kind of made it look a little too easy in the last video. What you'll find is after you fix your TV, it will power up in the service mode all the time now. So all you've got to do is uh, turn it off normally, hold the, in, uh, the same buttons before, the volume down and the input button, and then it will then... Uh, uh, while you're powering it up, um, when the light is off, hold those buttons, power it on, and then it will be out of the service mode, and then turn it on and off as normal, and it will no longer uh, be in that annoying mode, and you can use your TV now. Uh, so let's just see, what can we do on this thing? Sources. Uh, it appears to have a, a little bit of confusion, somewhat, or uh, well, that maybe just be renamed by the user. If anyone else has seen that, the input there for has got a weird name, L L L L L L. <laughs> if anyone else knows what what's up with that, um, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your new fixed TV.